Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashava. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. I had to be fair and just yes, yes. to my own conscience, yes, not to any party, not to any government, not to to any powerful person. Even though I know it's not like the safest way for me to do things like that or to say things like this. But I have to say what I want to say. And it's always just and fair. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic. Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Como estas? means how are you in Spanish. My name is Dalvin. The kind people of Dominican Republic appreciate your loving support for the innocent and helpless animals. The Dominican Republic shares the island of Hispaniola with its neighbor Haiti in the Greater Antilles Archipelago of the Caribbean region. The country's name is dedicated to St. Dominic of the Dominican Order, a group of monks who came to the island in the 16th century and helped protect the indigenous Taino people. Spectacular mountain sceneries, stunning waterfalls, jungles, and beautiful beaches make up the nation's landscape. An extensive network of 18 national parks has been created to safeguard its natural heritage, including ocean waters that are frequently visited by thousands of migrating humpback whales, as well as dolphins, turtles, and manatees. The capital city of Santo Domingo is... A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. 
In another work-related phone call on Sunday, February 7, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled The Fallen Angels, Part 8 of 8, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on February 7, 2021. Any other questions, my love? No, Master. Hello? No, no Master. Are you so quiet? <laughs> you don't even say yes or no? <laughs> That's all, Master. Okay, you all satisfied? Understood? Yes. 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 All right, now you know everything almost, yeah? <laughs> you know all my secrets, hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Do you judge me? No, no Master. You Americans. No, master. No, no, no. Yeah, a debt has to be repaid. Yes, master. Yes, master. A favor has to be uh, appreciated. Yes. Yes. The whole Vietnam, 70 or 80 million people, right? No, oh. 94. 94 million. Now. 94 now? Yes. Oh, they are diligent. <laughs> <laughs> 94 million people now, and President Clinton helped them all mm. by lifting the embargo, meaning I say, taking away the embargo, you know? Yes. yes. Which was like a yoke on their shoulders. 30 years long, imagine that. And Vietnam was already devastated with the war. 30 years war, yeah? And there are many other wars before that. Wow, with the French, with the Japanese, right? Japan also was there. And Chinese before that. Yeah, non-stop. Maybe already devastated. People are exhausted. Have nothing to eat. And <sighs> even their fields, their rice fields are burned. Their coconut fields, many other food areas are burned by Agent Orange. And people are also burnt by that. And claymores and all kinds of bombs were raining down on that little fragile gentle country, and 30 years extra embargo, for what? For what they have done. I appreciate the Americans sacrificed their lives there for maybe freedom of the world, but I'm not sure. How about your country doesn't have freedom now? Freedom of speech is being censored, being threatened. So how are you fighting for freedom in another world? How would the world trust you to let you help to fight for their freedom? Even if the communists from the north invading the south broke the uh, armistice agreement in Geneva before that, but that is the Vietnamese to the Vietnamese. You see what I'm saying? Yes, and if one side wins, one side loses, okay, it's a very bad thing, very, very bad. I still cannot forget the war and forget the people's suffering and forget the shame that the refugees created for our country. They did not create it. What I mean is that the refugees' situation created a shame, big shame for Vietnam. That is not good, not good war, not good after for the refugees because of the refugees' situation and all that. But still, that is the Vietnamese fighting the Vietnamese, okay? Yes. yes. They are not fighting your country. They are not fighting America. So why punish them, the whole blanket like that? I mean, half of Vietnam, southern Vietnam, they are just defending their territory. Why punish the whole Vietnam with the embargo? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay, of course, it's all karma. It boils down to all karma. So on one hand, I suffer with the Vietnamese people. On the other hand, I know it's karma. 
still I suffer. And for many years I could not I could not really say I'm from Vietnam with gusto because of the war and the refugees suffering situation. I never liked it when people asked me where I came from. I never wanted to say I came from Vietnam because of that or that. So it affects people, not just the dead people, but also the living people. They live under the shame, under the sorrow already, and under the control of the new regime when they first came. That's why they ran away as refugees. And now Vietnam is better, of course. It's more free now. People can come in and out of the country very well, very, very easily. And for that, I thank the government of Vietnam. And it's more prosperous now. Many uh, international uh, companies came and invested in Vietnam and all that. I'm very glad. Okay? I'm very happy for the openness of the Vietnamese government. Every government has some problem, of course, has some defect, because the governmental body is big and complex. There are bound to be some people in the government that are no good and make it trouble for the whole uh, governmental uh, reputation. Yes? Yes, 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 yes? But overall, Vietnam is freer now, and people are more free to come in and out of the country, and for that, I'm happy. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. So you can see Vietnam, so many millions of people, and after the war, after 30 years of embargo, President Clinton, he's a former president, but I still want to call him president. I don't want to call him former, because such a big benevolence that he did for Vietnam. Many presidents before him came and went, nobody cared. After 30 years of embargo, that means how many presidents could have been already. Many before him, right? Yes. Nobody cared. I didn't think Vietnam deserved that. The war was bad, but not the Vietnamese people. And the embargo hurt the Vietnamese people, hurt the citizens. So he did a great job. You see, he he lifted the embargo, and I am forever grateful to him. Thank you, President Clinton. I I am still grateful to you. May God bless you and yours with everything that is favorable and good. Now, you know, I was stuck in between. I care for Americans, but on one hand, I cannot harm the Democratic Party. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I try other ways to soften the effect. Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Even though President Trump is no more in power, I try to work with the other party to help them and to soften the gravity of the situation. It will get better. Okay, huh? Mm. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Yes. yes. I had to be fair and just. Yes, Master. Yes. To my own conscience, yes? Not to any party, not to any government, not to, to any powerful person. Even though I know it's not like <laughs> the safest way for me to do things like that or to say things like this. But I have to say what I want to say. And it's always just and fair, okay? I don't side on anything with anyone. (laughs) Many things also I cannot tell you, of course, okay? When the time comes, you can see it, and then you will feel that you will know that it is Master Power's doing, all right? Yes. Helping. Any more questions at all? <laughs> no, huh? No master. No master. And no questions in the box. No, huh? No master. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, master. Master. I thank you for your presence. Thank you. Your thank you, master. pleasant presence. <laughs> uh, and I also thank you for being there mm? for the world. For well, Supreme Master Television, of course, but that's for the world. I thank you for that. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. I thank you to be my hands, <laughs> my feet, my eyes, for working for me, helping me to help the world. I'm always thankful, okay? Yes. Thank you, Despite your personality, your shortcomings, your defects, doesn't matter. You're doing a great job. 
Got that? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. And I will never forget. And I will never forsake you. Never. Thank you, Master. Even if you're not with me or you're working far away, I will never forsake you. When the end comes, we're always together. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. When your end comes, I'll be there for you. Thank you. I'm always there for you. From now, I mean, from before, now, and at the end of your life. Okay, huh? Right. Thank Promise. You, Thank, you, Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, also. We're together. Hmm? Good. Love you. Thank you, Master. God bless. Maybe I talk to you again before Lunar New Year, okay, huh? Yes, Master. Yeah. Love you. Love you, Master. Forever love you. <laughs> love you too, Master. I will always be there for you. Okay? Thank you, Thank you Master. Master. Thank you, Master. You go rest now. Thank you. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. See you all next time. Mm-hmm. It's not always easy for me. Even it looks easy for you. <laughs> but it's not. I try very hard. Understand. Even just to read your story. <laughs> it looks easy, but it's not. Divine viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled The Fallen Angels, Part 8 of 8, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is selections from Sikhism's Holy Sri Guru Granth Sahib, Aang 28-30, Part 2 of 2, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May your sincere prayers for heaven on earth for all beings soon come true. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD. Mm-hmm.